The future of our candidates is very important to us. It's part of the reputation. When they leave here and they get jobs elsewhere and they show how good they are and as they travel around Canada, North America and the world, it, uh, that's all part of the advertising. It's our job to make sure that when you leave here, you do get a job somewhere else. We have got a really good success rate of people finding work after the programme. We've got people from last year who are working in the USA. They're also working in Europe. Even someone is working in the indoor ski centre in Dubai. If you want a job, there are jobs there to have, for sure. I kind of have a job lined up in, in, in France, so that, that's looking, looking optimistic. So I'll get through to level two. <laughs> After I've done this, me and a few others are going to go to New Zealand and get a job there to instruct. I've got pretty much a job sorted out in Switzerland now, so um, as long as I pass my race coach and my level two, I should be able to go out to Wengen and work there. We've actually got an amazing story of a guy called Stuart who passes level one and two boarding and he went on to work in Canada and New Zealand. He obtained his level three boarding. He then came back to Jasper to work in Jasper and actually train our students as an instructor trainer, which is fantastic. And this year he's actually qualified as a level one course conductor. And Stuart's only 20 years old. So that just shows right, you what can be achieved. Last year I was teaching in Vancouver, so obviously um, being certified here at Marmot really helped me to get that job in Vancouver. And I also teach in uh, New Zealand during the summers. So I've been doing back-to-back -back winters for about five seasons now. The course definitely helps you if you do want to pursue a career in this or just to improve obviously your skiing or snowboarding and get that sense of achievement. The way the course changed me is I had a lot of confidence in, obviously in my trainers and their confidence in introducing information to other people. And that's definitely rubbed off on me. I thought I was gonna be really shy, but once I go into the teaching thing, you know, I had all this confidence that was putting me through the great training of the course. The quality of the training really helped me to get as far as I did. 12 months ago, I came to the academy and absolutely loved it. Trained really hard, was up here five, six days a week, had a day off every now and then, um, and worked towards my level one, which I achieved. Um, I now am also an instructor at Marmot Basin and I love it. It's obviously great coming back to Marmot and being able to train the students on the CRA. Um, I definitely enjoy how I can put across to them what my trainers put across to me two years ago. What I love about teaching is obviously you're putting a smile on someone's face and uh, getting the same feeling you do when you accomplish something. So obviously putting it back into your teaching. I really learned that it's all about just having fun, um, helping that person, showing them the mountain, showing them the safety, and just really helping them in a way that after the lesson they feel like they've achieved, even if it's just being able to ride a T-bar or getting on a lift or linking a turn. It's just an amazing accomplishment at the end of a lesson to see someone doing that. I'm going to continue down the training route, hopefully. Uh, yeah, so get more certified in the other countries, so maybe in New Zealand, and obviously in the future, maybe level four one day, you never know. So. There you go. A lot of hard work to be done. <laughs> Waking up to this every day, <laughs> I love it. It's amazing.